Hi, boys and girls. I'm Grandma J. Today, I'm going to read you a story that I have written and illustrated. It's called "Looking for Friends." A little white bunny is hopping on the road. He's looking for friends. He passed a tree and asked the bird on a branch, "Would you play with me?" The bird answered, "Sure." They played happily. Then the bird wanted to go home. He said, "You cannot fly, so I cannot take you home as a friend." Bye, and he flew away. The little bunny passed a stream and asked the duckling in the water, "Would you play with me?" The duckling answered, "Sure." They played happily. Then the duckling wanted to go home. She said, "You cannot swim, so I cannot take you home as a friend." Bye, and she swam away. The little bunny passed the farm and asked the cow in the field, "Would you play with me?" The cow answered, "Sure." They played happily. Then the cow wanted to go home. She said, "You are too small to go to my home as my friend." Bye, and she walked away. The little bunny passed the roadside and asked an ant on the ground, "Would you play with me?" The ant answered, "Sure," and they played happily. Then the ant wanted to go home. He said, "You are too big to go to my home as a friend." Bye, and he crawled away. The little bunny then went to a school. There, all the kids were drawing and singing. They played with the bunny happily. Then the class was over, and they all left school. Then the little bunny went to a park. All the kids there played with him happily. Then the sun was down, and they all went home. The little bunny said to himself, "I must find a best friend and a new home." He went to a library. There were many books about bunnies and other animals sitting on the bookshelves. The little bunny hopped into a book called "Looking for Friends." Then a little girl came and picked up the book with the bunny. She said to him, "Hi, I'm Sophie. I want to be your best friend. We will play together every day." And Sophie took the book and the bunny home. Every day, Sophie plays with the little bunny. Before they go to sleep every night, they always read the book, looking for friends, and play with the bird, the duckling, the cow, and the ant. They are very happy. The little bunny has found his best friend and a new home. The little white bunny has found his best friend Sophie, because he never gives up. Today, Sophie is taking the little bunny out to look for more friends. Everybody needs many friends, and she will find them. Would you like to be their friend? The end. If you like this story, you may want to listen to other stories that I have read. Just search J Z H A N G in YouTube. Enjoy. Bye bye.